key cutting is uh, it's fairly simple uh, with this little key cutter. It's actually a puncher. Uh, what you want to do is start with a blank key. Uh, in this case, it is a a J from the J series. You can see the little J there. Um, what you want to do is turn it on the other side where it says uh, duplication prohibited, and there's a little groove right here at the bottom. That groove fits into you push this all the way back to the to the right. There's a little lip that it fits in under this block. Sometimes you might have to just wiggle it a little bit and just push it until it stops right over here and then turn this lever to the left to lock it in place. Then what you want to do is refer to a sheet or if you have it on on your computer and we usually keep it in our um, in our uh, shared drive uh, and then what you want to do is uh, look at the code for example I'll, I'll do an AA1 so I look at the look at the number for it. AA1 uh, where it says 2733852 you line up the numbers right here in this little notch so and push down all the way down to seven three three eight five two and that's done now what I always do just so I don't mess myself up is I always push it back to the right before taking the key out then you're all ready to do the next key and you just loosen it and pull it out the next step that you want to do and I usually use this block just to hold it in place is flip it over to the to the flat side here uh, that doesn't have any writing except for the little J and then you want to etch the number just so that way you know what it is and I use this uh, engraver this is a plug-in version I also have a uh, uh, a cordless one that works on a couple of AA batteries and it's about the size of a pen light and uh, I got that uh, from on Amazon for about ten ten dollars it's great for using in the field and you just etch in AA1 or whatever the number is and that's it for cutting the keys and, and engraving them.